Good Wednesday morning. He's exhausted already. 72.30, we just took the duels off, put them away in the shed over there, in storage. Let's see if my zoom button will cooperate. Holy shit, it did. 82.35, the 1590 drill and the color packer over there. Today is senior skip day, so a friend who's a boy is here washing very dry still yes i know i keep saying that but chance of rain tonight and tomorrow the 11 o'clock news last night said half an inch to an inch range god i hope so so anyways i'm gonna hook that onto the anhydrous applicator and start getting all that stuff ready the early corn that was planted in april I started spraying yesterday, didn't film any of it because it was mid to late afternoon before I started and I wanted to get done, so, but there will be spraying videos coming. We get that stuff washed up, I'll grease it up, Barb and I will probably get it put away in the back of the addition and get the seed tender cleaned up a little, put that away. That really doesn't need washing. I'll just sweep it off. Any little seeds or anything that's on the top. Put some... Oh, I use that uh, Startron. Put some of that in the gas tank. Let it run for a few minutes. Got to get my anhydrous pump out. Get that running. Lots, lots to do. Probably, depending on how much rain we get this weekend... First of next week, I don't know. I'll start putting anhydrous on the early corn. It's It was a little bigger than what I usually start spraying, but wasn't bad. So hopefully we get this rain to help the residual get put into the ground, but we need rain. Yes, we do. Oh, and if you notice, my truck is parked back where it's supposed to be. The 26 foot Pottinger is gone on another demo. Um, Actually, it was John Horrigan. It was John himself. God, John's got to be... How old are you, John? 75, 77? I was surprised you came and got it yourself. That's Andy Horrigan's uncle from Farming, Fixing, and Fabricating in Elbridge. That's a pretty good drive on a tractor. I'd say it's going to take him... God, half an hour, 45 minutes to get back there. But... They came and demoed it because I still haven't come to any kind of agreement on price. Probably won't. So, all right, got the eight row anhydrous rig hooked up. There's four knives because it goes between each row. So, you're doing two rows basically. So, hey, cousin Scott down there in North Carolina. Them spring teeth look like the same things that were on your, your chisel plow. Not saying they are, but they look like it. Oh, also, go check out One Happy Farmer. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at who you see and what you see. So those of you who haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. I'll just leave it at that. 500 gallon tank. Yes, we do all of ours post. So it won't be long. We'll be getting at that. I gotta get it greased and ready. All right, good Thursday morning, huh, buddy? Yeah. As you can see over there, hooey, we have some puddles. We got three tenths of an inch of rain last night into this morning. Supposed to get some more. Sky looks it. I hope so. We could use it. All right, it's going to be kind of, well, let me turn on the lights. It's going to be kind of dark back there, but we got some equipment washed up and put away. Oh, and the beer fridge here, the shop fridge. New sticker up, Patch of Heaven. Mailed me and Jimmy each a sticker, mailed two of them to me, one to give to Jimmy. So, Patch of Heaven. Ye today, June 3rd, I put uh, mine and Jimmy's stickers in the mail. I had him drop me off one so we could just send it in one envelope. So you should be getting your stickers from us here sometime in the 
near future, depending on how shitty the post office is. Anyways, field cultivator put away where it gets put away for the winter. Seed tender packed in. Corn head and grain head are just in because obviously they'll be coming out. Drill put away where it's going to sit for the winter. I still got to grease it. Should have done it right after I washed it, but I was busy getting the anhydrous stuff ready. Color packer packed in over there in the corner, but so greasing this is this morning's project. But whoa, didn't watch where you're walking now back here. So, so obviously over there against the other wall, the sprayer will go like it did last year, which we ain't done with, and the rock picker and whatnot. So, corn planter is put away where it's going to be and serviced as far as greased and chains oiled and whatnot didn't oil the seed chains thinking about getting the precision planting units but the seed chains need changing anyhow so no sense in oiling something that you're going to just take off but all right so i'm going to go to greasing that hope we get some more rain if we get at least another quarter of an inch so we get up over a half that would be splendid so and then they're talking like saturday through tuesday all 90 degree weather crazy so maybe saturday morning i'll start putting on some anhydrous problem is i don't like spraying corn when it's super hot because they say not to but we'll see early corn's sprayed so the rest of it's not hurting yet let's put it that way Guy's getting black that way. It was just trying to sprinkle. We'll see. Taking a break from greasing the drill because I had to come get another tube of grease. Anyways, I posted an Instagram post earlier that's getting quite a few views and comments. And so I'm just going to say the same thing here. What makes, you know, Zuckerberg and his people and and Mr. Jack Nosering there and all the social media moguls that control everything we say. What makes them the experts? What makes their fact checkers experts? Why is it people that are putting up posts about, you know, doctors and nurses who don't agree with the bullshit going on in this country right now? They get fact checked. Well, that's false. Why is it false? Those doctors and nurses are idiots, is that it? The woman doctor who went in front of uh, the Texas state legislature, she'd been a doctor for 25 years, her testimony about how she thinks, you know, things should be stopped now with some of the adverse things that are happening to people, because if it was anything else, it would be stopped. 25 years, she's an idiot, apparently. You know, only certain ones are, you know, the elite, like the ones whose uh, emails just come out. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about, because I'm sure you've seen it. So I don't get it. I mean, unless you agree with the elite's narrative and follow that path, everyone else is wrong. Well, just keep this in mind. That happened once in this world, where people followed that path. Yeah, how'd that work out? You know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say it, cause ScrewTube probably will get pissed off, but cause they got their own fact checkers, cause they're all just so fucking smart, you know, and everyone else is so dumb. And the only ones that know what they're talking about are the ones, the elites on the left, who are driving the whole narrative. So, all I'm saying is, Use it. Think for yourself. Do some research. Oh, and when a person puts up like a TikTok video or an Instagram post or a Facebook post of a bad reaction they had to the government jab and they get shit canned or, or their views get dropped down to hardly nothing because the fact checker said so, the fact checkers know what a person's personal fucking experience was, I'm so done with it. So done with it. 
Uh, well, he's wore out from greasing the drill. Oh, and my fat ass is sweating. It is humid with these storms popping up. It was hot back there greasing that, but I'm done. So I'm gonna call this a video just because I'm not back in the field right now. So there'll be some spraying, some anhydrous coming up. I'm just, that and I'm just pissed off with all the bullshit that's going on in today's society. It's, it's frustrating, it's hard. My screen is shitty looking. Hang on. Blackout. There, I just wiped it off. Hopefully that's better. Probably because I got grease all over me. It's just, I don't know. It's mind boggling. It's mind boggling that our media today, I know I said this in a live stream, I don't know if it was the last one or a couple. It used to be the media, you know, investigative reporting. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter if it's social media, mainstream media, print media, like the piece of shit rag, local rag we got here. You know, 95% of the letters to the editor, you know, the opinion page, are all Republicans smashing and bashing and, you know, blow sunshine up the Democrats' ass because they're just a liberal rag. I wrote a letter back when they showed in two or three live streams ago that racist cartoon they wrote in the paper and they didn't print my letter of course because I told them instead of trying to cancel me and other people maybe it's time we canceled them of course they didn't want that and of course I sent a personal email to Mr. Executive Editor who never responded I said hmm, you can dish it out but you can't take it can you it's just such bullshit the media is just in the pocket of the Democratic Party so bad in this country, blowing sunshine up their ass from the local level to the state level to the federal level. Here in New York, the Emperor Cuomo, it was all over the news the other day, he gave out the first 10 free four-year scholarships for, for uh, 12 to 17 year olds that got the jab. I know I don't normally smoke my cigars on camera other than during the live stream, but I need to bring it down a notch. So, uh, so that's, you know, taxpayer funded money too. That's given these free scholarships out to kids to go to New York state, you know, taxpayer funded schools. Think about that. That's all I'm asking. Process that. We're giving away free shit to get the government jab. For a 99.9798, whatever it is, percent survival rate. <sighs> and 90% of the experts say that, you know, it doesn't even affect the kids. I've just, oh, I've had enough. So I'm ending this video because I'm just pissed off and don't want to put anything more on it. So go to the description, check out the Grumpy Farmer Apparel. For all of you who have bought stuff, thank you for supporting me and barb and chelsea and <clears throat> buying our stuff um hats are coming for those that ordered hats and are wondering and for those that have ordered hats and it's been a while because there was an issue you're gonna get a little something extra on the side of your hat from what they tell me so just for those that have been waiting the longest so i haven't got my hats yet neither so but all right so we'll see you in the next one